Hello and welcome back. I hope that you watched my previous video and to talk about condenser microphone and today we are going to cover up dynamic microphone. This is a dynamic microphone. A dynamic microphone operates on a principle of electromagnetism and this means there is um, always a coil here that is uh, attached under a magnetic field and what happens when that coil is moved we are able to get our audio signal. A dynamic microphone is a microphone that you can use in a um, place that is very noisy and you're able to get good sound because the microphone is not very sensitive. Advantages of a dynamic microphone is that it's very uh, durable, that these are microphones that you can use for so many years and without getting spoiled. Uh, another thing is that the microphone doesn't use uh, any battery, you just plug in the cable uh, and it's a micro wireless microphone, uh, you may just need to have battery for transmission. Okay, don't confuse this. Sometimes many people will think that a microphone that uses a battery is always a condenser microphone. Some dynamic microphones can just have that wireless transmission and that is the reason as to why you may need batteries for that to help you to do transmission of that audio signal from the transmitter to the receiver. Also, dynamic microphone can be used in uh, any environment that is even noisy and you are able to capture good sound. A dynamic microphone is also very affordable, that is compared with a uh, condenser microphone. If you take a certain range of condenser microphone and compare it with the same range of dynamic microphone, you always find that dynamic microphone is affordable compared to that condenser microphone. Dynamic microphone has a variety of applications and that is starting from music production, at the same time, you can use it in podcast. And in a case where you have a podcast and you are using uh, like three or four microphones in a certain room, even if that, my, uh, that even if that environment is a studio, it is very important to use a dynamic microphone because it is not highly sensitive. And the advantage of having a dynamic microphone in such a setup is because when I speak in this microphone and the other person is speaking from their microphone. The micro, my microphone is not going to capture sound from the other person. So in such a case, if you have like 10 microphones, it means that you are able to get audio from each and every person from their own microphone. So dynamic microphone is applicable in such scenarios. Dynamic microphone doesn't have so many disadvantages, but the disadvantage is that it's less sensitive. In case you need a highly sensitive microphone, dynamic microphone is not a microphone to go for. In that case, you need to use a condenser microphone. I hope that you're getting to learn a lot in terms of microphones. And all these microphones, all of them lies under those two categories, dynamic or condenser. In any project that you are working on, it's you as a sound recordist to understand what type of microphone is applicable in this specific project. So that now you can be able to decide I will use this microphone for this project and I will use this microphone for the other project. Or I will also use another type of uh, wireless microphone like I'm using, a lapel microphone, uh, for this specific project. So you as a sound recordist have that knowledge of understanding which type of microphone do I need to use for this project to be able to have good sound. So my name is Kanyenge Chege. Please like, share, and comment. Let me know what you need to learn about sound recording in the next episode. Stay tuned for more.